I stood up and he said, do you want to go again, tough guy? And I just looked right at him, just looked right at his face. And he balled up his fists, leaned back, and headbutted me square in the nose, just right as I stood in front of him. Day 15 of the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp defamation trial was wilder than usual. During Amber's testimony, all evidence would be objected to and be considered as hearsay. The team was losing hope until she explained what Johnny had done to her one drunken night. Amber shares the moment Johnny beat her until she had bruises. And I don't know how many times he just hit me over and over and over again. And I got really still with him holding me down, punching me. Over and over, and I don't have any memory after that until I woke up. She claims that chunks of hair were also pulled out. She lost all memory about that night. She said, but while she was saying that, Johnny just kept shaking his head in disbelief, as if saying this isn't happening to me right now. He even smirked a little knowing that this is a complete lie. She also claimed that one of the pieces of evidence was a broken bottle which Johnny tried to put inside her. Johnny kept looking back and forth at the screen and his lawyers. He seemed really pissed that she was saying that and the rest of his team looked like they were too stunned to speak. It is uh, where Johnny slammed the end of a bottle uh, into the wall while um, holding me up against it. Was this in the bar area? Um, it, it, this happened in two rooms, so it's hard to tell. After that, they showed evidence of Amber being hurt, but when you look closely, there are no bruises at all. Her face is clear and she had a busted lip that could easily be faked. Amber was looking at the jury all that time, as if trying to convince them it was real. The allegations continued and Johnny's team were in hysterics. His hand landing on the back of my shoulder neck area, I remember trying to get him off of me. This time, it was when Johnny would nod off and spill wine on Amber's pants. She claimed that this happened thrice already and she had to ask help from his son, Jack, because he was embarrassed. Spilling it all over me and third, he's spilling it because he's nodding off is what I assume. So I kind of say this in a pointed way at Jack, thanking him for offering. And I get up, go to the closet, Amber claims that Johnny grabbed her intimately and dragged her across the room. I was wearing this um, peach, um, kind of like netted kind of style swimming suit underneath. That's, that, that's what I had on uh, from the waist down. And he just shoved, shoved his um, fingers and inside me, but through my bathing suit. He didn't like move my bathing suit out of the way. If you observe Johnny and Amber's past testimonies, he would never look up and just scribbled notes. Today was different. His team was also on their toes, quick to object to the evidence. Johnny's reactions make us think that what Amber is saying is obviously fake. That's it for day 15. More updates on the case in our next videos.